Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we're going to talk about the best smartphones to buy below the 15k price segment in India right now. So 15 to 10 or rather 10 to 15k price segment is one of the really uh, popular segment out there uh, in the smartphone segment because a lot of new smartphones come in this price segment and this is also one of the uh, segment which uh, sells a lot of devices uh, every year. So most of the OEMs have really great products uh, in this uh, segment uh, to compete with other smartphones in this price segment. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, specifically devices between the 10 to 15K price segment, which are really great to buy right now in India. So first step in the segment is the Honor 8X. So Honor 8X is the recently announced device by Honor in India. This comes with a really great hardware. It has a 6.5 inches uh, full HD plus resolution display. Then uh, it also has a glass uh, material. It's really good looking device out there. Uh, excellent build quality, good set of cameras, 20 and 2 megapixel camera. It also has a 16 megapixel selfie camera. It runs on Android 8.1 and we have the EMUI out of the box. And it also comes with 3750 mAh capacity battery. This is really good. Now the downsides of the device is that there's no USB type Type-C port available and there's no fast charging included otherwise it's a really good package out there and the base variant of 4 gigabyte ram and 64 gigabyte storage variant is priced 14 triple nine in india so that's the first device in this segment so next step in the list is the realme 2 pro so again a really great smartphone an all-around smartphone and this comes with 6.3 inches uh, full hd plus resolution display again it has a dual camera setup one of the really good cameras out there it has 16 and 2 megapixel camera combination and a 16 megapixel selfie camera the color os is the one uh, which uh, runs on this device and it has android 8.1 oreo and this is powered by uh, the uh, snapdragon 660 octaco chipset uh, the base variant uh, is available for 13,990. That's a 4 gigabyte RAM and 64 gigabyte storage being offered. So overall, this is a good uh, package with uh, 3,500 mAh capacity as well. The downsides of the Realme 2 Pro again, uh, there is no USB Type C port. There is no fast charging included, and uh, color always gets uh, a bit of time getting used. It's not uh, the refined UI out there comparing to uh, the EMUI or the MIUI. So that's the Realme 2 Pro. So next step in the list is the most popular smartphone out there, the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So this is uh, uh, this was announced uh, 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 early uh, 2018 and this is one of the really popular smartphones again with great cameras. It has a 12 and 5 megapixel rear camera and uh, front camera is 20 megapixel shooter and it has MIUI 10 right now on top of Android 8.1. Now uh, again uh, this device comes with a really great battery life, 4000 mAh capacity battery, metal construction and uh, 5.99 inches full HD plus resolution display. It also is powered by the Snapdragon 636 octa-core chipset. Now the downsides of this device include uh, there is no USB Type-C port, again uh, the design looks a bit dated because this was launched uh, almost like uh, early 2018 so the design feels a bit dated but still a really great package all around at a price of 14 uh, triple nine in india so that's the redmi note 5 pro so next step in the list is uh, the zenfone max pro m1 the six gigabyte ram variant which is again priced 49.90 so this device again comes with a, a 5.99 inches of full hd plus resolution display and this has uh, upgraded cameras it has a 16 and 5 megapixel camera combination uh, a 16 megapixel front camera it has a massive 5000 mAh capacity battery this is uh, one of the really great aspects of this device and this comes with a stock like ui which is really great in terms of performance and powered by the snapdragon 636 octa-core chipset so that's the asus zenfone max pro m1 now the downside is uh, no usb type c port no fast charging and uh, the, the design also doesn't look that great when compared to the competition and the cameras are kind of okay performance not the best uh, in this segment so that's the asus zenfone max pro m1 so next step in the list is the honor 9 so honor 9 n uh, is uh, a compact smartphone uh, which is really small in size it is 5.84 inches uh, screen resolution it comes with a notch and uh, this is powered by the kirin 659 octa core chipset and uh, this also comes with a uh, dual rear cameras a good selfie camera and uh, this has uh, emui 8.1 and uh, along with that there is also android uh, 8.1 oreo out of the box 
now the device is uh, really good in terms of design we have uh, the glass finish and uh, looks really premium in this price segment this is price around 12k in india now the downsides include uh, there's no fast charging support then uh, the kirin uh, 659 is kind of um, slightly dated processor because uh, the gaming experience is not that great and also uh, the kirin 710 has been already launched so this is slightly outdated processor but otherwise this is a good device all around with a good cameras as well so that's the honor 9n now talking about the last device in the segment last but not the least the nokia 5.1 plus so this is a really great powerful device with a helio p60 octa-core chipset and uh, this has uh, again stock android with a notch and uh, this comes uh, with a uh, pretty decent cameras as well now this also comes with usb type c port it is under the android one platform that means uh, uh, nokia will be providing uh, updates on a regular basis and um, this is quite a good uh, device in this price segment especially for gaming because uh, the helio p60 is a good uh, processor in this price segment this is price 10 triple uh, nine in india there. now that's the nokia uh, 5.1 plus so these were some of the uh, best smartphones to buy in this price segment so we have the honor 8x the realme 2 pro uh, the redmi note 5 pro asus zenfone max pro m1 the honor 9n and the nokia 5.1 plus so these are the best six smartphones our pick uh, in the 10 to 15k price segment so which is your favorite smartphone among these so drop in your comments uh, in the comment section hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching have a great day